from the future this is 2020 now and when I filmed this video and got all this footage this is actually the event to date a whole year ago so it was February 11th of 2019 when I went to the event and it's just so interesting that a whole year later her film is now on Netflix and you'll see that she actually like spoke it into existence she manifests her progression, her success with her film, and that's honestly all that I feel like everybody's talking about with 2020 is like manifestation, being intentional, really making conscious efforts. And it's like, what? Like she was already on it last year. So it's really cool to come back in here 2019, from 2019 to 2020, and see the progression of her film now being on Netflix. That is so amazing. Um, also, I wanted to share that I actually don't have a lot of footage of the panel discussions um, because I was trying to like be very like intentional and you know watching and really listening and being receptive to what the panelists were saying and um, I got a little bit on my Instagram so I will link my Instagram down below but my Instagram handle is rgmode underscore and you can definitely go check out you know that story I have a highlighted story on my Instagram of the event um, but yeah like I didn't get a lot of the panel discussion but you can definitely now go see the film yourself on Netflix I think that's so dope it's so motivational so inspirational I literally felt super empowered when I left and I feel like I'm not conveying it when you see the actual footage of that day when I talk about you know me wanting to like really brand myself and really stop being such a procrastinator all this stuff I don't think that I'm really showing you guys how interested I was um, after the film but that's neither here nor there. I'm here to tell y'all that that really motivated me. It definitely lit a fire underneath me to like get my business going, to do more things. And I definitely did step out of my comfort zones last year and do a little more things. So I definitely plan on making that continue this year. So the link for the Netflix um, movie will be down below. Also, I have her Instagram handle and the Instagram handle for the film is also linked down below. So if you wanna check it out and everything, you can definitely do that as well. Um, but I just wanted to step in here and let you guys know all about you know how this is such an example of great manifestation, dedication, and really like, putting your all into something because I can see her hard work and efforts definitely are paying off so yeah but I'll let you continue with this video and watching um, I'm probably gonna already say this at the end of my video but if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe down below let your girl know what kind of videos you want from me I will try to be vlogging a little more especially when it comes to going to more events around Chicago and just networking and stuff like that so expect more from me because I know I'll be absent sometimes but <laughs> thank you guys for watching and tune in to the rest my uber is literally three minutes away okay so I'm gonna try to be super fast so I did end up wearing the sweatshirt it is um, not as cropped as I thought it was gonna be with these leggings so I ended up wearing this and then I'm about to put on I'll show you guys my, um, my bomber jacket looks pretty cool and then my scarf on top of that keep me nice and warm and let me grab the gloves because girl you know we're gonna need those gloves also always before I leave out the house love to like give myself one more final over spritz just so I'm like dressed in my perfume <laughs> and then we're good to go so my uber is literally going to be here in yeah two minutes crazy oh no he went the wrong way okay let me go before I miss out <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Y'all, what's up? <laughs> I am back home um, from the event. I've actually been here for about an hour now. My camera actually died as soon as I got in the house. So, with that being said, um, 
I have just calmed down a little bit from the event. It was amazing. It was so inspiring. It was so motivational. I felt like I just recharged when it came to my thought process around me being a black woman, me actually being a black entrepreneur and trying to like create this new like business venture for myself and RG mode. Um, and it just is crazy, you know, the resources that I have and that I could use. Um, the film itself was just amazing. It was very, very enlightening. Um, it was very relatable. Um, of course, uh, it was just, it was great. So it was more of like a documentary style film about or interviewing basically different women who are entrepreneurs who are actually successful and talking about like their successes and how they got on the track they are now and you know basically um the obstacles that they faced and just oh, it was amazing it was crazy um and it was a lot of different people from like uh different walks of life so people in beauty people in fashion people who are authors like there was legit like um people who um when i say people i mean it was like certain people being interviewed in the film that are in different categories of whatever business and um so it was a little bit of some of everything people who are working in like entertainment magazines people who uh, it was a financial advisor um and it was just a, it was like beauty, like everything, every walk of life, every type of business. And I feel like that's what we as black people, I mean, I don't know who's watching this, but I'm assuming that my target demographic is African-American women. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited that I actually went to go see this film. Shout out to my girl, Lenora. She like posts, like she tagged me in a post that the woman who's basically in charge of this entire film her name is renee blute i think that's how you pronounce her last name and she is bomb first of all her name is renee so obviously she's bomb but um she tagged me in her post my friend tagged me in her post and um if she wouldn't have i was already following renee so i think i would have seen it but maybe not dug deeper into it in the event because I mean I haven't really been doing stuff in Chicago and so I really needed to like get my ass off of this chair and go out and do some shit in Chicago and also like just do some networking for myself for my brand and just in general just get out and like you know feel motivated again and I was like oh she tagged me in something so I kind of looked it up and I was like as I was researching more and more about it I was like I do want to go to this I really do so I was so appreciative of my girl for hooking me up like with just you know just a post just letting me know about an event that was going on you know because I mean otherwise otherwise I probably would have just bypassed it and been like oh you know whatever that's cool that's going on but I you know I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go by myself but I actually did end up going by myself I suggest anyone who um is looking to be or looking to not you know what honestly even if you're not wanting to become an entrepreneur or you know open up your own business and or you know start some type of business venture you can still gain so much um, insight and so much inspiration and stuff from this film and it's not even just about um, black women it's about supporting black businesses it's really about like what we should do as a community and you know just um where we've come from like you know where we started from and how we've always been inventors and entrepreneurs and you know we need to just continue to live out that legacy and i think it's also about um finding um that inspiration to realize like there are so many resources out here for african-american women and for black women because we are like the future we we've been the past and we are the future and it's just um the I guess metrics when it comes to like what is really going on in entrepreneurship and CEOs and business owners the amount of black women that are owning businesses and just all of the like statistics behind all of that stuff was just like what like eye-opening I mean I've heard it several times but to really see it and hear it on this film just was like eye-opening and like 
realizing that it's tangible and it can happen and if you just put you know all of your efforts into that and not just putting your efforts into say a nine to five or whatever or even negative thoughts and energy of thinking that you can't do something is you know phenomenal just mind blown i literally mine was blown and um the panel discussion afterwards was pretty great as well yeah but uh thank you guys for watching this vlog i um oh they had goodie bags yes so what i mentioned earlier in the film is that or in the film what I mentioned earlier in the video is that they had raffle tickets and I was super excited because I wanted to get a raffle ticket because I wanted to win the Sir and Madam gift cards that they had. Also, they had another thing um, that you can win was just like a photo shoot and I wanted to win that as well. I legit, the first number they called was legit one number before my raffle ticket and it was the girl or one number after my raffle ticket one of the two like i can't remember i think it was like the number after me and i was like you gotta be kidding me because literally me and the girl was like dancing back and forth when we were walking through the door like i was like it was like no you go ahead no she was like no you go ahead and like basically in that energy and i'm like dang that could have been my raffle ticket <laughs> However, I did take home this gift bag. They had like these like little swag bags or whatever you want to call them. Um, goodie bags on the chairs. Um, so like basically the first 50 people or however many chairs they had also got these bags. So one thing they had are these financial people, I guess this bank um, byline bank. I believe this is the black owned bank that they were talking about at the panel one of the ladies um she says that she banks with them and they are a black owned bank that you can utilize i guess she was saying also for like funding for different like entrepreneurial endeavors so i thought that was pretty cool so i kind of will look them up this is their name um if it will focus there we go or the last thing that was in the back was this and this is from eden's bodywork i absolutely love that brand actually and uh, half of the stuff that I bought which was from the um Queen's Essential the Mayel Organics um like hair tour or whatever from the summertime I actually bought a few products from the Eden Body Works little booth and that stuff is almost starting to run out absolutely loved it but this is the Hydrate and Soothe butter for hair and body oh yes i love body butters so that's pretty cool so thank you guys for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you did also really really enjoy it go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next one peace out